I know people who like to party so much that even if they have a headache, even if they're sick, they still go out and party. They're like, I'm just going to pop these pills. I'm just going to take these pills. It's going to make me feel better. And I'm going to still be able to party. And it's like your body is trying to tell you something. Your body is trying to tell you you need to rest. You need to not party. You need to eat, you know, eat some soup or something. <laughs> You need to take care of yourself. That's what your body is trying to tell you. Your body and your mind is saying, relax. But people, I know people who want to party so bad that they just pop pills so they'll feel better, so they can continue to party. I know I had a roommate one time, his little sister, she literally had like a broken back, but she was on so many prescription drugs. She was on so much caffeine and sugar. She didn't even realize it. She didn't even realize she had like a broken back until she went to the doctor. They did like a x-ray MRI or something. They were like, yeah, your shit's broken. People don't realize it because the stimulants are blocking the truth. And that's why I think we should ban stimulants or at least severely limit them. You go to any, any coffee shop, and it's got a line out the door. It's got a line of cars up the street. This stuff is making people feel like everything is okay. Making people feel like they're happy when that's not the case. Okay, when you eat healthy, when you exercise, when you work hard, when you're morally right, when you socialize, when you get the sun, all these things will make you feel good it will give you true happiness when you're moral it's like okay I'm a good person okay I I, I eat healthy all these things are con gonna contribute to true happiness to make to make you feel good but people don't want to do any of that people don't want to eat healthy people don't want to exercise people don't want to be moral but they still want to be happy but usually when you don't do all those things, you become sad and depressed. Why? Because your body feels like crap. Your mind feels like crap. You don't feel self-confident. You don't feel you don't feel like you're a good person. So people become depressed and people become sad. And that's your mind telling you, you need to change your lifestyle. So people are like, I don't feel like doing anything. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I don't I don't feel like I don't have the energy. So let me change my lifestyle. Let me exercise. Let me become more moral. Let me eat healthy. Let me get some sun. Let me socialize. Let me do all these things that are going to make me feel true happiness. Make me feel good. But what's happening is people are eating like shit. They're being immoral. They're not exercising. They're not working hard. They're not striving for anything. They don't have any goals. And before they can feel sad or depressed, they drink an energy drink. They drink four or five, you know, energy drinks. Coffee, sugar, stimulants, drugs, prescriptions, whatever, whatever. And it gives them a false sense of happiness. A false sense that everything's okay when that's the farthest thing from the truth. Everything is not okay. Their body's messed up. Their mind's messed up. And that, and then they go out and they spout their opinions like, oh, the way I'm living is the right way to live. I could be immoral. I can not exercise. I can not work. I can, I can, you know, have all these bad opinions, these immoral opinions about life and people in general. And I'm right because I'm happy and I have energy. But take away the stimulants. And you think they're still going to have those opinions? No, they're not going to be so vocal. They're not going to have those opinions. They're going to be sad and depressed. So people, instead of changing their lifestyle, they just ingest stimulants. And that's what's ruining the world because that makes them feel like what they're doing is right. Being immoral, not eating healthy, not exercising, not striving for goals. 
It makes them feel like that is the right way to live because they have energy, because they have a false sense of happiness. So then they go and spout their way of life to everybody else like it's the correct way. That's why I think we need to ban stimulants because we need true happiness. We need true energy. We need natural energy. And life would be much better. It's crazy. The world is going crazy. And these stimulants really aren't helping. Because our body and mind is trying to tell us that something's wrong. Trying to tell people that there's something wrong. But people just ingest all these stimulants and feel like everything is right. Let me know what you think. You think the world would be a better place? If there were no stimulants, I know there are people out there who use stimulants responsibly, you know, caffeine, sugar, all that. They don't, they don't use it for their happiness or for working hard or energy or morality. But there are millions of people that do. And it's influencing our society. It's influencing our way of life. We're getting all these policies, all these things that are going on in the world because of stimulants because people have a false sense of happiness a false sense that everything is okay but take it all away and they will see how crappy the decisions they make are and they will change their lifestyle for the better and everyone will strive for family for working hard for exercise, for eating healthy. That's the way it should be. Let me know what you think.